All right, let's do this. Okay. Um, Mournful Tones reduces focus. So this is Lelek's attack. I can't attack him, so I can't interrupt that. Shallow Cut, we want to stop because he will hurt us very bad with bleeding, and I don't want to need to switch back to Uber after if I can avoid it. So we'll do this. All right, uh, this could possibly inflict suffering. What is this? This is still shallow cut. So we get our second opportunity to slow him. So I'm gonna try to slow him to reduce the attack so that I don't get hit with status. That worked, okay. So now, this is gonna do a lot of damage. He still has some time away, so I'm gonna punch him. And then, Bukovac. To put the suffering down. Ouch. All right. So I get one opportunity here. Slow him down. and bloody wetting him. And if this reduces, it did. If it pushes him back, this will kill him before he can attack. That's good. We're good. He's dead, and this should kill. Nice. All right, multiple people. This lady with a gun, jeez. Deceptive song reduces focus, removes all negative states from your allies and transfers them onto an enemy. Okay, so right now, we need to focus on not putting status. So we're going to go back to... Um, what do we want to do? Alright, we're going to go back to Uber, just because I also want to heal. We are going to attack this guy. And I am going to punch him to try to break, didn't break him. I'm going to try to distract him now to try and push him away. So that we, yes, okay, exactly what we wanted. We wanted to delay that turn. So now what we're gonna do is, Stylish Shot does 11 damage. We'll just punch her. He is gonna be... What is this? Restored health points by 40% effect sacks X2. We'll reduce his focus. Just to remove the status effect from me so that I heal better on the next turn. Because we're gonna need it. All right, um... Use focus, and he is gonna attack him to heal me, I think. Hold on, 18, can he attack her? Five to six, five, seven, five to six. We'll just do this again, this is fine. This is a more important use of our, removing the guy that can do serious status effects to us is like important for our survival, so it's okay. Um, Let's see, style a shot, we are absolutely gonna punch her. And by punch, I mean do a little cut, or shoot. This will kill her, so we're gonna do that. And then on this guy, do this. Very good, that killed her. You gonna punch me. I'm gonna take more damage. My focus being low is very bad. Okay, so now we need to really plan for not taking damage. Bleeding, uh, I don't know if I can really delay him that much. Uh, what do I wanna do?
Yeah, we need, we need to delay him. So I'm going to try this. That gave me 28 health. That's good. So that, like it's going to hurt me. But I still got time. Bring down his focus. Oh, God. This might be death. Okay, that pushed him out, killed him. Somehow. Or no, it scared him. Oh, I see. Uh, can I break this? I can break that, hopefully. And then get Uber. Oh, fuck, I didn't do it. This might kill me. This might be dead. No, that only broke my focus. Okay, hey, that's good. Concussion, that's good. So that gave me a bunch of health back. I got this in the bag now, we're good. And now, yeah, we can just keep wailing on him and he's dead. All right, cool. That was hard, that was a fun fight. Enough of losing. Rasputin will tame you. There are bullets in the chambers now, though. He should be killing himself. What's happening? Bullets have no effect on me. The end will never come. What are you talking about, Dennis? Let's get to drinking. The night's still young. You don't understand. None of you. Leave me alone. I don't want to hear another word. Get out! Shut it, Selim. Or I'll find a loaded piece and shoot you dead. Give me a second. To get my thoughts together. I have to. I don't have Dimension Salutor, so we won't use that one. Instead, I will do this one. Let yourself feel the pain that's consuming you. This you eyes. need it. Pasha, I'm sorry. I haven't mourned you. Danis, pull yourself together. Come on! No, Selim, I have to. You too as well. Forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't say anything. No words are necessary. Seems <laughs> to me we should drink a toast to the dead. Dennis, we are your brothers forever, till the day we die! Come on, let's leave these scoundrels alone. We've got stuff to talk about. I like that. I like that character. I like what this character arc. Experience. I can feel it in my bones, as if... I were part of something grand, you know? You carry an unloaded revolver? <laughs> Anybody can pull a trigger. I use it to smash heads. And balls. Uh, uh, but tell me, did you catch the little sprat? Yeah, I did. But it wasn't easy. It still isn't. Was it worth it? I don't know. <laughs> At least now it won't be Lelek deciding Danis's fate. That's always a good thing. Anything that lets you sleep at night, friend. Forget sleep. Now I need hypnosis. Thanks for today, about it. Oh no, hold on now. The night will end when I say so. Come here. What do I care? Lead the way. Uh. Well, yeah, I get that. At the end of the day, what heals the body and soul better than a double vodka, eh? Four. Is our Lenny scene? Lenny! To us, to you, to vodka! Haha. <laughs> 
<laughs> it is our Lenny scene. <laughs> Show her your demon, Victor. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just not on my shoes. <laughs> Victor, Victor boy. Maybe you aren't at all such a prick as Sataniswaf was. <laughs> yep. 99 bottles standing on the wall. <laughs> Lenny! And cheese. <laughs> That's fun. Oh, it's still going. Okay. All right, we'll take it. Well, hello, Sleeping Beauty. My head's about to explode. What the hell are we doing in front of my house? The front steps got the better of you. But, Victor, to hell with that. What a night we had. Admit it. If you're looking for fun, do it with Njejits. Well, I admit, it was quite, quite, quite schmite. It was spectacular, <laughs> and we both know it. We'd better get away from here if Ligia finds us. Ligia, and by what fault do your eyes burn red, hot, while your mouth is like honey? You trust over much in my virtue? <laughs> I see you're looking after our good name, brother. Forgive me. It won't happen again. It won't. I'll make sure of that. I can assure you, my darling sister, that next time, I'll make it all the way to the door. Can you make it home from here, or do you need a hand? But, but, those five rubles, remember? <laughs> five? What the hell do I owe you that much for? My dear friend, I can't answer that question in the company of a... He's scamming friend. us. Warsaw whores aren't that expensive. You two got bilked. Victor, with each word, I find your sister more and more impressive. One way or another, I wouldn't like to have you as a creditor. <laughs> if I needed a loan, it was because I'm broke. Then go fish around at home. A gold watch if Satanisuavs would come in handy. He doesn't care anymore. Satanisuav? Here. From now on, you can cover your own taps. Maybe you'll even start paying for your own telegrams. <laughs> and now, pardon me, but I have things to do in life. Once you've dragged yourself home, brother, I'd like a word with you. All right, don't worry about it now. We'll have a chance to meet up. Next time, you're buying. <laughs> Next time? <laughs> So you think I'm done with you? One night like this is too little for us to be squared up. I know not why others stare, lest it's at our drinking fair. <laughs> Goofy ass characters. <laughs> God, I, I love this to game. See Rasputin. All right, um, Rasputin. Where are you? All right, and this should, I believe, give us another dimension that we'll be able to upgrade. So we'll either be able to finish the jail side quest or the killer side quest or the other one that was like 
over here. This one. Mind three. I don't know if it's my if if Lelek is mined, probably not. Mr. Shitsky. Is Rasputin here? Sadly, yes. Can't believe she just called us Shitsky. It's mean. Can you believe it? This game is wild. <laughs> this game is just bananas. It's good to see you. Unless I'm mistaken and you've come with something unpleasant. Actually, I don't feel great. Night, Perky. Let's see what you've brought with you this time. Close your eyes and focus on my words. Concentrate on my voice. Relax and focus within yourself. Follow my voice inside yourself. Where is he? I don't see him, but I can sense. So that's how you want to play. That chirping of his is unbearable. Do you hear him? Good. That means you can locate him. Point him out to me. Focus on his song and show me where he's hiding. You have him. Do I need to fight him again? No. All right, we got him. You look better. You slept a long time. Yes, it feels that way. What year is it? Still 1905. Yet time flows on inexorably. <laughs> no, I won't bother you. We can talk next time. The Narazinski door is always open to you. All right. Hell yeah. We have a bunch of points now. Oh, does this give us mind? What is this? This is mind. Okay, hell yeah. This is basically what we needed for the next quest. So, let's just go ahead and dump some skill points in. And now that we have basically full mind and we still have skill points left, I will be able to continue. This is Marana, isn't it? Are we going to get Marana already and just have Mad Mind? That's cool. Um, we'll be able to now immediately do next attacks, next things, which is sweet. Uh, what was this? Thoughtful development deals damage. Okay. Where's thoughtful development? Here it is. Planned attacks inflicts damage. Okay. Damage catalyst could be good. It slows the enemy's planned action is actually pretty good there too, though. Let's do damage catalyst because that's more... Well, no. Um, ooh, actually, this is good. Icy armor. Hmm... Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so that incentivizes doing this because it means I'm going to take more damage, but then it'll pay off by healing me later. Cool. Or not healing me, but protecting me from damage later. Uh, okay, we can do this one next. I think. Just 
So yay, we fully unlocked the mind uh, tree so far. Because we were so diligent. Can go over here. And I can also investigate the WAS, which is helpful. Mailbox. It belongs to a certain Mr. Mr. Kro Kroguki. It seems to be little frequented. Apart from the denouncing letters for Akrana, the mailbox is filled with Michlava's, Michwava's deliberation and doubt whether anyone actually reads the messages she delivers on a regular basis. Against the agenda, Michwava, a woman I met at the WAS headquarters, is secretly snitching on them to the Akrana. However, her romantic notion of a spy's work has been confronted with reality. It could easily solve the conflict with the anti thaumaturgist but it would be at the cost of giving her up to Vajamirch. Fudgemirds. I am not gonna give her up. That would be silly. Okay, here we go. Alright, here we go. All right, now I can handle some of these things. Word three, right? I should be able to do this now. Because I have word three. No, I don't. Oh, fuck. I need mind three. Shoot. Uh, but what we can do is go back and possibly get the other ones. Where's our journal? Okay. Let's go up here, and I believe we were trying to get to Povishla, and then um, in front of the bar there was some stuff on the ground. Yep. Man, I'm so glad they like fixed the performance of this game. It stutters a little bit on load now, but once that's done, it's like totally fine. Wait, word four and five. Okay, so I can't progress these right now huh okay all right so i need to get more word which means i probably just need to do main story what is the tailor's inspiration My guess is it's just the random items that I find. I think it was in Southern Shredmicha. Where is this bringing me? Oh, okay, I was not in the right place. See? Okay. I'm trying to snap my fingers around people that look fashionable to see if I can find anything. But I'm thinking that every single little item I find, I can like bring here and then it's, it is inspiration for him. Well, let's get this over with. I need some evening wear, quick. Good proportions. Thank you. Alterations won't take long. Your name and address, sir? Viktor Shulsky, 9 Green Square. I'll send a messenger when I'm done. Okay. Now, I'd like to go to my business. I won't bother you. All right. <laughs> this is a very workman-like relationship. Mr. Shulsky. All right, so... I won't bother you. There's stuff I can't All discover right. yet. So I think this is just the way that it's supposed to progress. So... Let us move on, I suppose. I'm gonna run around real quick. 
Just see if I can't find anything else. Nothing really around. I was really thinking that I would find more, but doesn't really seem like it. All right, I guess we just gotta go prepare for the soiree. How bougie. It's up here. All right. Oh, we sent it already. Wow. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I see you went to a barber. That's something at least. Recently, I met a bearded guy who's not especially fussy about his appearance. And yes, people welcome him everywhere with open arms anyway. <laughs> hmm, maybe he's a natural charmer. I've heard that can get you into the Imperial even without a tailcoat. Very funny. Are you getting dressed so we can go or have you changed your plans? Jeez. Yes, let's go and see if I do fit in. In that case, I'll go get changed too. Look at you. And here I worried I was the only one who looked good in trousers. <laughs> Very chic choice. Thank you. You look fantastic. Thank you. You think Papa would be mad that we're going to a party right after his funeral? I hope so. Victor. He could have kept from losing the Black Grimoire. Are we ready? Yes, the carriage is waiting. Hexo says, for Americans, trousers are pants. We, we, we know what trousers are, Hexo. Welcome to the Imperial Hotel. How may I help you? Ligia Szulska, here on the invitation of Svetlana Romianceva. Yes, we are expecting you, of course. The uh, soiree is taking place in apartment 237, second floor. I wish you a thrilling and successful evening. I'm impressed. How did you sort that out? Our name still means something. Let's do our best to keep it that way, all right? Oh, snake. Cool. Who are you, my golden slithering friend? Victor? Victor. Victor. Can you hear me? Yes, uh, of, of course. These people are just waiting for us to put a foot wrong, understand? We're walking into the Vipers then, brother. Everything's all right. I just got a little lost in thought. I'll be good, I promise. I'm going to hang around here a little longer. I'll meet you upstairs. Huh. See you there. <laughs> All right. Viper's Nest. Upon entering the Imperial Hotel, Ligia warned me about this place. It's a ruthless environment, a true Viper's Nest, where you must play by the rules unless you want to be preyed upon. Aha. Look at that. A procession of slender legs, a review of colorful feathers and sweet voices. Unlike vaudeville dancers, these beauties make their lovers part with their fortunes willingly. Peacocks? Birds of some kind? Interesting. 
Well, well, someone new. Good evening. Good evening, Viktor Szulski. Irina Orlova of those Orlovs. This is Natalia Obolenskaya, and this strangely quiet soul is our delightful Sofia Skawan. Irina is exaggerating. <laughs> nice to meet you, oh. Mr. Szulski. The Governor General's daughter herself. How do you do? What can you tell us? Governor General's daughter, Sofia Georgievna Skalan, is this year's debutante and enjoys a lot of interest. She's a young socialite who relishes the attention she elicits. How are you enjoying yourselves? We can't complain. Seeing as we're debutantes, we're getting a lot of attention. Really? Maybe you'll tell us something about yourself. Tell them about yourself. <laughs> I need to slip away for a moment. Oh no, what a shame. Okay, I see some dust up here, so we gotta investigate. There it is, it's right there. Madam Samira. A poster advertising the mysterious Madame Samira. The poster surface radiates with the positive emotions of passers-by who've laid eyes on the advertisement, such as curiosity about a mysterious psychic or excitement revealed by a quick heart rate. Apparently, Madame's seances are quite popular. Is there anything else around here for me? Talk to this guy. What did we come here for? These soirees are for old people. Good evening. May I? Please, we're not discussing anything consequential. <laughs> you keep on worrying about yourselves. I intend to make the most of this evening. See, I told you he was in love. Miss Scawan is out of your league, my friend. To say nothing of her father. Old Scawan and I are practically on first name terms now. You'll see. I'm sure. So, one eye-catching girl has already got an admirer. What does that leave us, Maxime? Hmm, not much. The dull, the silly, or, well, the old. En parlant de Ligia Shulska, <laughs> she just passed this way. Pigs will fly before someone fancies her. She'd actually prefer Sophia Scawan, according to what I've heard. Well, what do you think? Infatuation. Sergei wants to impress his companions. He hopes they'll see him as worthy candidate for Governor General Skawan's daughter. Sergei has plans regarding Sofia, but they're yet to be realized. My name is Viktor Shulsky. Well, there we have it. My pride is too low. And I don't like what I just heard. Especially about my sister. And, uh, what are you going to do about it? Pardon me, gentlemen. I promised that I would be well behaved tonight. Lunatic. Let's feed our pride a little bit more, see if we can't, uh, take advantage Is of this situation that, uh, a little Mr. bit. Shulsky? I suspect you want to hear more about the book. We've never met a thaumaturgist before. To tell the truth, I didn't believe they existed. A thaumaturge. Don't worry. But now you do. Well, it depends on what kind of trick you show us, Mr. Shulsky. I need to slip up. Oh. Hmm. All right, so we haven't found anything. Hexo says he has to go to bed. Good night, Hexo. Hmm. Find Svetlana in her apartment. We'll go up. All right, there isn't anything immediately around. How about down here? Yeah, nothing. Hmm. Hmm. What are we doing?
doing? What's going on here? Oh, Konichkin. Mr. Shulsky? I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. You don't know how very flattering that is. <laughs> and what brings you to the Imperial? The cream of Warsaw society is here, so I thought it would be worth showing my face. With a name like yours, I'm sure you fit right in. After all, someone must have invited you. I'm not worthy. My sister brought me along out of pity, I think. And so, Miss Ligia is here too. Why do you ask? No reason. What are you hoping for this evening? Who knows? Maybe I'm keeping an eye out for the future Mrs. Shulska. <laughs> Best of luck. You'll need it, since Ligia ended up with the entire inheritance. My sister didn't inherit everything. That's right, in fact. After all, Stanislav had his little black magic book. But I don't see you carrying it. Hmm. He'll probably call me on the lie, so. The truth is, the Black Grimoire has gone missing. And you're conducting a search here? Where better to find information than a hotbed of gossip? I cannot disagree with you there. And what are you doing here, Mr. Konechkin? I'm passing the time. Ah, oh, curious hobby. I'm simply interested in people. Do you know these circles well? They're not hard to figure out. A gang of none to bright layabouts, chasing amusement after amusement after amusement. Do you feel part of that gang? <laughs> I'm not one of them. And neither are you. Nor was your father. Who did you say you were to my father? A trusted acquaintance. I supported him with good advice, though truth mm. be told, he rarely needed it. Your father had a gift for making good decisions. Which of my father's decisions would those be? Once that were good for your family, perhaps we'll have the chance to return to this another time. Goodbye, Mr. Shulsky. No, I wanted to ask you how you got your scars. Yes, I'm sure. One of the uh, interesting things about this character is that you really can't tell if he's a good guy or a bad guy. I mean, honestly, that's kind of every character in this game so far, is just like this constant feeling of like interwoven, intermingled, like complexity, which I, I find just really satisfying and, and unique. Because it, it's very easy for a game to like figure to, to overstate character intentions and motivations, but like he's really tough to read. Discreet half words, meaningful half smiles, and sidelong glances from a fan, mere Ali appearances. The truth is that I found myself in a den of snakes. People must tread carefully here. Cool snake. All right, lots of Talented things around. never fails me. There is something here. There is, indeed. Before we talk to anyone, let's look around. Empty champagne glasses. The lips that sipped champagne a moment ago kept uttering cutting words of contempt. Someone clearly regrets marrying the alleged idiot Louisa, but I doubt she's the idiot in this relationship. Ligia is there. Seance table. Covered with, by red cloth with images of constellations. The fabric of the tablecloth is permeated with, with weariness and nervousness. The emotions are fresh and clear. They've just traveled from Samira's fingertips as she held her palms there to avoid biting her nails from stress. 
Was it me who had that effect on her? Here you are. Gentlemen, meet my brother. Viktor Shulsky. The last Shulsky to wear trousers. You don't know that. Miss Ligia could yet produce an heir to the fortune. Maybe even with me, if she doesn't tell my wife. But Gross. let's talk like men. You intend to take over your father's company, correct? First, I suggest you mind your own business. Your marriage, for instance. Perhaps Louisa isn't the ninny you take her for. I beg your pardon? Hasn't it occurred to you that when you leave her at home, she might also take advantage of her solitude? What are you suggesting? You've got a cockold's horns. <laughs> I suppose it's true what they say about you. Yes, what's that? You've lost your mind. Thank you. I've worked long and hard at that. Good luck with your business, miss. I almost feel sorry for them. Have I crossed the line? Nonsense. Any progress with Svetlana? Guess who I ran into again? All mysterious and carved up. Ivan Konietkin? What do you know about him? Mm, not much. He was an acquaintance of Papa's. Well, in theory, it's thanks to him that we're here. What? Ligia? I know that nothing comes for free, but he really didn't want anything. Yeah, he looks like a real altruist. Hmm. Sofia Skowen, the Governor General's daughter. Do you know her? No, and I don't suggest you make her acquaintance either. Skowen can't stand thaumaturges. Mm, warning. Governor General Skawan is not fond of thaumaturges. Why am I not surprised? Another person who sees an obscure threat in us. You enjoying yourself in this viper's den? Oh, the vodka is quite tolerable. I'm observing my own brother taking out his anger on ordinary mortals. I don't know what you're talking about. I like that we get to play kind of a shithead. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> like Victor is kind of kind of a dickhole. <laughs> it's very funny. There's more. There's something else around here. Here we go. A row of burning candles, probably for an air of mystery. An image emerges from the flames. A hand dancing over the fire, a gaze that follows it. And lips uttering words of anxious excitement promise of capturing the certainty of success you will be mine who is this about so that's Svetlana we don't want to talk to her yet Alright, let's go back downstairs and talk to Sophia. Since we know enough to, to speak with her. Possibly. Isn't that our miss? Nope, something keeps eluding me. I need to okay. slip away. Oh no. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's talk to Samira next, because she's the non-required uh, NPC here. Good evening. Psst, the energy can't be disrupted. <laughs> yeah. I saw one of your posters. You look... Different in it. 
Really? The illustration doesn't reflect reality. How should I take that? No one warned me that I should get in costume for the party. Ugh, I beg your pardon. Rude. I'm just noting that you stand out among these boring guests. Impudent. Just a bit uncouth, I'd say. Do you know the hostess well? Will you leave me alone if I say I don't? Yeah. <laughs> no. Svetlana Pietrovna invited me, and I am doing my best to meet her expectations. Let's keep out of one another's way. Victor is such a dick. It's so funny. <laughs> Whose soul are you summoning tonight, dear madame? I only know which one I'd prefer to banish. Shoot. <laughs> Maybe my dead father's. <laughs> if you manage that, it would spare me a lot of trouble. Oh my god. Now we'll never know. This game is so silly. I'll stop disrupting <laughs> the energy here. Until I return. This <sighs> so funny. This game is just the goofiest shit. I love it so much. I genuinely am finding this so amusing. <laughs> And there's nothing else over here. We just gotta talk to Svetlana. And the general says to him, tell us something funny. Funny. Then Bautsky replies, General, why don't you shoot a cannon first? That's a good one. I'll have to tell it tomorrow at the Orwafs. Who might this be joining our conversation? Orwafs? You know, sir, your face looks familiar to me. Did it say Orwalski? My name is Viktor Shulski. Ah, oh, yes, I can see something in your eyes. I was sorry to hear about your father. I'll see you next time, darling. Wonderful party. See you there. I think I've offended the creme de la creme of Warsaw. This is hardly the creme de la creme. <laughs> How do you find my soiree? Say what you think of your soiree. How is it being part of the Tsar's court? It is a blessing and a curse. Forgive me if I do not elaborate. I admit I'm getting reacquainted with the social scene. You spent a long time traveling, didn't you? Fifteen years. Over that time, I got used to harsher surroundings. And believe me, drawing rooms can be just as dangerous as untamed steps. You've met Anastasia and Marina. What about the others? I've already met several distinguished guests. Madame Samira definitely stands out. She is exceptional, isn't she? Her presence is the crowning glory of the evening. Has anyone else caught your eye? Ivan Konechkin, for instance. Apparently, he knew my father. How remarkable. I wasn't aware. Konechkin is something of a secretive person. And have you yet had occasion to meet the debutants of the season? I'll be sure to seek them out. This evening, Sofia Skowen herself is to grace us with her presence. Well, well. I suggest you move quickly. The competition is fierce. The crux of the matter is that I'm here because of my father. You knew him. That doesn't sound like a question. Of course, I was his customer. I truly am sorry for you. Both of you. The death of someone close is always a dreadful blow. Please accept my condolences. Svetlana Piotrovna, I must insist. Can you tell me something more about my father? Mr. Shulsky, I assure you we have the most delectable vodka. Besides that, I warmly encourage you to join Madame Samira's seance. It will be an unforgettable experience. Hmm, I wonder, is that truly everything our soiree can offer you? I've got no choice but to suffer through tonight. No need to mince words. Huh. I've updated my journal. 
Svetlana refuses to talk openly with me. Maybe she's anxious about all the gossip-hungry ears around us. Still, I can feel she wants to tell me something. I should watch her surroundings closely. Maybe I can learn something that way. Hmm, indeed.